Good morning. Well, we have been celebrating War Eagle Week all week long, and I am so honored and privileged to be able to speak with Gloria Owens. She is the wife of the late James Owens. And if you don't, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with who James Owens is, he was the first African American football player to touch the turf of Auburn University, and it just practically a trailblazer that broke the color barrier at Auburn University and it's just awesome to speak with her. Thank you so much for coming on Miss Gloria. Thank you. Well I wanted to ask you, you know, how did it feel to, oh my goodness, I don't know where to start because when I think about this I think that people put a lot of emphasis and focus on, you know, him being an athlete in general, just being this awesome man, you know, breaking the color barrier, but you were his wife. That had to have been a task within itself, I would think, I would imagine, because maybe some of the obstacles that he may have endured. Is, is that true? Yes. Um, James did not talk a lot about his Auburn experience, mm -hmm. uh, so he wasn't just forthcoming unless he was in a conversation, you know, with a former teammate or doing an interview. He really didn't talk about that really? Auburn experience. Uh, he looked more on the positive side mm -hmm. of things and um, and in, enjoyed the overall. Uh, he didn't concentrate a lot on the hardship mm -hmm. um, that he endured mm -hmm. uh, being the first uh, athlete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, so he was the first African-American athlete in general at the whole university or just in football? Just in football. Uh -huh. The previous year Henry Harris came as okay. the first black athlete okay. uh, in basketball. Okay. All and right. so, um, but at first he didn't know Henry Harris and Henry Harris didn't know them and yeah. the sports was kind of kept separate. So until they really met mm -hmm. uh, in the dining area they had not had contact really? uh, with each other. Wow. So it was still like him alone in football and Henry alone in basketball. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, overall, uh, for an experience for uh, Mr. James Owens to, to have the opportunity to play for Auburn, and I, I know that uh, that was something that was amazing to him. That, so what, what were some of the things he said about that as far as, like, the experience for playing for uh, now, which is a Division I school? You know, how, how did that feel for him? Well, you, you have to look at the time that it, that it was with him being the first coming uh, because he had not planned to attend an Auburn University. He often said that he thought he would do like his brother and his dad and mm -hmm. most of the people in the community of Fairfield that he grew up in would go and work at U.S. Steel. But because he was sought out uh, for his talents yeah. in high school, that's when the interest came and you know, James was uh, just a common person, so mm -hmm. he didn't uh, like a whole big to do about anything. Yeah. So he was just humble and quiet. <laughs> and and when he got to Auburn, and his parents dropped him off, then you know reality set in. Yeah. Hey, this is a whole new environment. Uh, I'm away from home, no family, no friends. So mm -hmm. uh, it it was a very unique. Uh, situation for an 18 year old yeah. uh, to be involved in a totally new uh, experience. Yeah. Um, he enjoyed it you know in his, his later years but he liked the sport of mm -hmm. football. He <laughs> loved football so that was his primary goal was to play football and make it to the next level yeah. which was the NFL. 